I appreciate everyone's time, and while I'm not gonna give my pick just yet, you already know who I'm rooting for. So thanks, everybody, and we'll see you later. Yeah, we're ready. The Bengals play the Chiefs week 17, and I've got nothing else to add. And cut. How was that? Yeah, I think that was better than the last time. Now let's do a breakdown for the AFC runner-up Bengals and two years AFC champion. Week one, it'll be the Browns, Deshaun Watson and Joe Burrow. At the defensive end positions, Miles Murphy and defensive end Miles Garrett for the Browns. Week two, Lamar Jackson versus Joe Burrow, best of the two quarterbacks. And at the tight end position, Irvin Smith and Mike Mark Andrews. Week 3, Bengals-Rams rematch of the 2021 Super Bowl. Rams came out on top. I'll take the Bengals this time at Bengals Stadium. Baker Mayfield will be the quarterback this time for the Rams, and it will be Joe Burrow for the quarterback. Nick Scott in safety and Jordan Fuller safety for the Bengals. Players to look out for. Week 4, Titans. Ryan Tannehill in offensive tackle. Sorensky and former Chief Tackle Orlando Brown. Week 7 Seahawks, Geno Smith and Joe Burrow, two completely different quarterbacks, Jamar Chase and DK Metcalf is who we look at in the receiver position. Week 7 by Week 8, 49ers, it'll be Brock Purdy and Joe Burrow for the matchup. Miles Murphy and Nick Mosa are the players we look at the receiver position. Week 9, it will be the Bills quarterbacks, Joe Burrow and Josh Allen. And players to look out for, Jamar Chase and Stephon Diggs, both back at the receiver position. And this is where Jamar Hamlin will have a cardiac rest. He will be back, hopefully, for this game. And he will be back to start the season. That's an amazing story. Week 11, refer to week 2. Week 12. Kenny Pickett and the Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow, offensive tackle John Juan Williams at the line, the tackle Jawan Williams, and at the guard Isaiah Suminol. At the Jags are Travis Etienne and Trey Williams, and for the Bengals also Joe Mixon. Bengals Jamar Chase and wide receiver Justin Jefferson, quarterback Joe Burrow, and Vikings quarterback. Kirk Cousins' outstanding seasons. Week 16 refer to Week 12. Week 17 will be the two best quarterbacks in the league, Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow, and Travis Kelsey and Iver Smith Jr. Week 18 Browns refer to Week 1. Review the schedule again. The Cincinnati Bengals Week 1 will play the 
Browns, that game kicks off at 1. We two, both Baltimore at Bengals, 1 p.m. Los Angeles Rams, 7, 8, 15, Bengals Stadium. Week 4 at Tennessee Titans, 1 p.m. Week 5 at Arizona Cardinals, 4.05. Week 6, Seattle Seahawks, 1 o'clock. Week 7, bye. Week 8, 425, October 29th at San Francisco 49ers. Week 9, November 5th at 820, Buffalo Bills. Week 10, Houston Texans, 1 o'clock. Week 11, Thursday night, 815. Week 12, November 26th, 1 p.m., Pittsburgh Steelers. Week 13, Monday night, December 4th, 8-15 at Jacksonville Jaguars. Week 14, Sunday, Indianapolis Colts at 1 p.m. Week 15, Minnesota Vikings to be announced. Week 7, 16, Pittsburgh Steelers, 4-30 at Pittsburgh. Week 17, at Kansas City, 425. And week 18, TBD. That's the Bengals' schedule. Now we move on to college football from last night. And for the SEC, these will be Sunday's standings. So use them as a guide. And if LSU loses or FSU expect to drop for Florida State or LSU. We talked about that game after this prediction. In the SEC East, I have Georgia finishing 11 and 1. I have Tennessee finishing 10 2. Kentucky finishing 8 and 4. Mizzou finishing 7 and 5. South Carolina finishing 6 and 6. Florida finishing 5 and 7. Vanderbilt finishing 4 and 8. In the SEC West, I have Alabama finishing 10 and 2. LSU finishing 2nd, 9 and 3. Texas A&M 8 and 4, Ole Miss 8 and 4, Mississippi State 8 and 4, 7 and 5, Arkansas 6 and 6, and Auburn 5 and 7. Games highlighted LSU, Florida State, Week 1, Week 2, Ole Miss, Tulsa, 2.30 this Saturday, Texas, Alabama, Alabama 6 p.m., Kansas State host Missouri, Week 3, kickers at 11, Week 4, Ole Miss, Alabama, she gets to be announced. Ole Miss gets another tough matchup with LSU. Alabama, number six is A&M. Week six, week seven, Texas A&M gets another tough matchup with Tennessee. Number, number 12, Tennessee gets another tough matchup with Alabama. Week 10, LSU gets a number, number five gets number four, Alabama. Ole Miss gets Georgia. At Georgia, week 11. Week 12, number one, Georgia in Tennessee. Week week 12. Week 13, Texas A&M at LSU. That ends the regular season for SEC highlighted games. That's college football for you for the SEC. Into what was supposed to be the big game of the week. But it turned in to a blowout in the second half. LSU would score matching scores in the first half. It was 17-14 LSU. LSU walked out the field with a field goal and put him up. Florida State got the ball and kicked a field goal in the second half and would punt. And Jordan Tarvez would complete a touchdown to a seven-yard touchdown. The score a touchdown. And then after that, LSU got the ball back and threw an INT. FSU would... Score again with Coleman receiving touchdown again. He would also have another touchdown in the game, Coleman would. He would have three touchdowns. Florida State would score 30 unanswered points, and Florida State would chop the hammer down, winning 45-24. LSU scores a late touchdown. For the AFC North, we just went through the team schedules released previously of the podcast in the AFC North. Here are my predictions for that division. I have the Bengals finishing 12 and 5, 
depending on Jones, Chris Jones may be finishing 11 and 6 or 12 and 5. For the Ravens, it will be 10 and 7 or 11 and 5. I got them 10 and 7 right now. For the Steelers, it will be 9 and 8. And for the Browns, it will be 8 and 9. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Sports Report.